Hey, welcome to another week here at the Tolerant. We are working on cleaning up the electrical panels and the electric electricity in the basement a little bit. We have an inspector, electrical inspector coming this week, not to inspect our work, but um, an electrician is going to come by this week, um, by this week also, and he's going to upgrade the power on the outside so that we can support both um, sub uh, both main panels in the basement and then obviously all the sub panels upstairs. Um, so we want to clean it up a little bit because the inspector is probably gonna um, have at least a quick look at the basement electrical so therefore getting it cleaned up is uh, pertinent to do this week. So the first thing I need to do today is um, get the basement electrical cleaned up. There's a lot of wires that are just hanging around that uh, the inspector is probably going to complain when they do the um, electrical upgrade outside. Um, he's going to inspect that part. So I want to have at least the panel here in the basement somewhat clean and all the wires gone in the basement. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this today is because on Wednesday this week, um, the electricians are coming to do the outside upgrade and they will have, when they're done, have the city inspector come to inspect that part. So um, first thing, of course, when you're working on the, on the breaker box, especially since this one is a life one, to always turn off the power.
So I took the chance as we are cleaning up the wires up here, we took all the loose hanging wire and the wires that weren't up to code, we took them all down. Um, I obviously wanted to have still some lighting down here in the basement because obviously otherwise it's completely dark and we can't really find the things that we are storing here. So we took the, the chance and put some of the can lights that we had left over from upstairs plus also some of those cans that the previous owner had put in different uh, rooms upstairs already. Um, they were different sizes than what we have been using. So I just reuse, I'm reusing all of those and just use them here in the basement. I didn't really put them in permanent spots. I put them wherever it was most convenient for right now. Um, as we are not 100% sure yet what the layout is going to be in the basement. There will obviously be different rooms down here, but we will probably have to redo this wiring when um, we actually put walls up and we actually have studs where we can mount the light switches and um, all the uh, re uh, receptacles in anyways. So this is really just a temporary set setup, but I took uh, we increased it a little bit. We um, actually now have lights instead of just in this area where we had one uh, lamp up here. We now actually have uh, continuous lights um, all the way back to the breaker boxes, which obviously makes it easier for the electrician this week as he's doing the upgrades. And then also in the middle section of the of the um, basement here where the door comes in uh, from, the ba from the outside. We didn't have lights there, so we, incre uh, we upgraded that too, since I had some leftover boxes. So the two lights that we have here in the hallway, I just connected them to the same circuit as we have over here. It was just easier because I really don't have any way to attach a box anywhere here because it's obviously on only brick. There is no two by fours or any walls up. So therefore, to keep it easy, I just attach them to the same light switch and we basically control this whole front section here with one light switch for right now. The second circuit that we have down here for right now is just controlled by this light switch. It's obviously not up to code. This temporary wall is really not mounted to anything, but for right now it is sufficient as we are just needing some switch somewhere to control the lights that are right in the front of the, uh, the breaker boxes. So in case you're wondering what the electrician is going to do this week, the electrician is going to replace um, those two meter boxes. Um, the previous owner had um, plans to have two different apartment units in the same building. Um, so therefore um, had installed two meter boxes. We obviously don't need two meter boxes. We don't want to pay connection fee twice. So we are going to upgrade one box from the two 200 me uh, amp meters to one 400 amp meter. And basically what they are doing, they're going to replace um, the two um, wires um, coming into the meter boxes. We are going to upgrade the one that comes in to a higher gauge one. And then the two that are going out here will be rerouted back into that same meter, bo uh, meter box as obviously it splits into two different sub panels in the basement or two main, uh, main panels in the basement um, that are both 200 amps. So we'll have that, um, the electrician is basically doing that work. So I also had a couple younger guys help me out a little bit this week. They were helping me clean up and sort through all the tools. We had them go through the entire tool chest, clean up, vacuum it all out and really sort it all so that um, I can actually find stuff when I need it. You can see here all screws and other things and um, this is really a big improvement from what we had before. So that was a nice treat that getting everything sorted through and now I just have to put it in the, the right places maybe next week. So after the electrician will upgrade the power outside we will have power to both of our panels. Right now we only have power in this panel and so this will um, allow us to run the second and third floor panels upstairs also. So this is going to be a big improvement and we will have power in the rest of the building. So I also wanted to give you guys a small little window update. Um, what's happening on that front. So we have not ordered the windows because we actually um, ran into some issues. The windows as we wanted to order them, the ones that we really liked, um, jumped in price um, in a crazy amount. So we opted to uh, shop around a little bit again 
and um, just see what what else is out there so we looked at a few more showrooms we julia and i went and we found some windows that we liked um pretty um decent windows um then the next issue happened and uh, really is about lead time um uh, another window that we liked they said the lead time is around 50 weeks and we were astonished how anybody can order windows and wait for fun for an entire year before they can actually put them in so we op obviously opted to not go with that window company um, so then we kept looking we found some other windows that we really liked so we are going to opt to put in an order this week um, with them most likely um, there's still one more that we are wanting to look at but uh, most likely that's what we want to do and uh, basically these windows have a lead time of 16 weeks so that means we will order the windows and we will have to wait for three and a half to four uh, months before they are here which is okay um, it's not um, too crazy we can do a lot of prep work for the windows um, I'm only going to order three for right now. I'm sitting right here in the parlor um, where I have a double window right here and a single window, window obviously on the far side. We want to use this um, room as our trial uh, and error room. It is on the first floor. It's very accessible from the outside on both, uh, on both of the window options. Here it is a room that basically um, is has windows that we have everywhere else in the house so it's a great example room so we want to order these windows just those three and we are going to um, try in this room to see how it all is all going to fit and uh, we'll just see how that goes we will probably have to make some adjustments after we order the first batch of three here but this is obviously better than having to order 30 and then uh, make each w uh, window work um, after the fact so this room this um, room is going to be our experimental room for the for the windows we are going to order the three and then we'll wait another 16 weeks hopefully by then um, the window companies will have caught up a little bit and the lead time on our second batch of the rest of the 33 windows I believe there's a total of 36 that we need um, are the that the lead time has improved a little bit and we don't have to wait as long for them which obviously makes um, shifts our timetable around a little bit we obviously said we might want to do the spray foam after the windows but uh, with them being with the lead time being the way it is we will probably do the spray foam first we'll just leave some space um, around the window openings for um, any adjustments that we have to make um, with obviously being um, the windows can't be really the exact same size so based on that information, um, we will have them come earlier and uh, the spray from people probably earlier as soon as we are ready for them and then um, just have them come a second time. We'll probably then also do it in two different phases. We'll do the first and second floor uh, spray foaming, but we won't do the attic at once and we'll just do the attic together with the windows at the, at the end. So that's kind of our plan for the windows and um, obviously there's still siding and um, those kind of things we have to do on the outside for window prep anyways so that's probably going to take up in the few in the future here as the electrical is done and as the plumbing is done we will probably start working on the exterior then well i think this is it for this week i hope everybody has a wonderful time and i'll see you next time i turn on the camera bye